All right, welcome back. This is uh, the part three of our third of our three part series on groups, and this is the the final video, so we should be able to get through the notes now. Um, let's talk about another group that it, that has an important impact on the the campaign for president, and that's third parties. Okay. Uh, third parties, candidates nominated by parties other than Republican or Democrat are on the ballot in most states, not every state, but most. They're usually invisible to the press and to the public at large. Occasionally, a more prominent third party or independent candidate emerges. When you go vote for president, there's actually probably going to be like 16 candidates on the ballot in Iowa. Um, some of them you'll know, but there's a Libertarian Party, a Constitution Party, a... Um, Freedom Party, a Green Party, a, you know, there's all sorts of parties on the ballot in Iowa. They usually don't get a lot of attention. Um, they're not in the debate, so that makes it difficult for them to win. But every once in a while in American history, a prominent third party candidate does win. And regardless, third party candidates can play a very important role in the outcome of a presidential election. Uh, Ross Perot in 1992 was able to garner 20 percent, almost a quarter of the popular vote, the overall vote for president um, running as an independent. And he really changed the way uh, third parties influence elections. No one believed Perot could win. Right. Like they didn't go in knowing he could win. And rather than forming a coalition to win, he, he just right off the bat served as a spoiler. All he did was steal votes from one of the major candidates, in this case, George H.W. Bush, the Republican incumbent, who was running against then-governor of Arkansas, Bill Clinton. Okay, so all, Perot knew from the beginning that he wasn't going to win. All he wanted to do was steal votes from Bush and make it tougher for Bush to win. Perot ended up with an extraordinary 19% of the vote in 1992, drawn mainly from disgruntled voters across many segments of the population. Truthfully, he stole votes from lots of people, but in a race where the incumbent, the, the current president, is running for re-election, stealing votes from that president does hurt him. Okay, so he hurt Bush more than he impacted, he helped Clinton. Third party voters often get viewed by others as wasting their votes. I don't think that's true. Uh, it's not a wasted vote. Um, a person voting for Perot didn't do so because they liked him, but mostly to voice their displeasure with the policies and ideas of the major parties. And maybe they did like him, but the idea is it's a displeasure vote. It's a no, I'm not going to vote for you because I don't agree with your policies. I want somebody new. Third party voters are usually aware their candidate won't win. They're not wasting their vote, but instead they use their vote to voice overall dissatisfaction with the main alternatives on offer and would not be regarded as a wasted vote. They don't consider it a wasted vote. They consider it as a vote of principle, right? I'm not voting for either of those two major parties. I'm going to vote for this guy instead because that's what I believe. They align more correctly with my views. I don't think that's wasting your vote. I think that's a good thing. Another way for determining uh, another way of determining whether an individual's vote is wasted on a third party candidate is to ask who the voters first choice is among the major party candidates and who is their second choice overall. If third party vote contributes to the loss of the voter's second choice and the victory of his or her third choice, then the vote has then the vote has been thrown away. Here's some takeaway points from this chapter. Interest groups play a major role in influencing the outcome of elections. Groups and individuals have a lot of loopholes in order to allow them to make unlimited contributions to candidates or committees. And third party groups also influence the outcome of election by acting as spoilers for one side or another and giving voters an alternative.